We're now back in uh, Studio Fredman, Sweden. We thought it was no reason to change um, producer-wise. You know, it's uh, it worked really well last time. It's going fine. It's a quite complicated band to work with. It's not only one guitar and a bass drum. It's like very technical stuff and. You know, with drums, everything is like always a lot of work with everything, especially with the keyboard stuff because it's very, very complex stuff he's doing. I'm gonna get you into a Dimmer Borgir session here, and uh, let's go to a song called "The Serpentine Offering." This is like we are in the end of the session now. This is gonna take some time to load this in because there's a shitload of data and stuff. Ja, men det går fint det. Det funkar va? Ja, ja. ja men då är det ju grymt. Då får vi vända det. Och sen ska vi bara ha dina kablar från, från pukarna och allt uppe. Fint det där. Just det. Mm. Så är vi hemma Ja, det går fint. Perfekt. This songs hold 83 tracks. And then we have bass guitar. And uh, rhythm guitars. It's going uh, very well, actually. Um, we haven't been in the studio for uh, three, three, four years almost, so. Uh, it's good to finally be back and be working in the right environment. Chose this time to um, to do a story album. Uh, Black metal. When I started on writing the lyrics and and the story, I had everything finished before we started doing the music for the album. So I I kind of had a picture on on how it was going to be in the end. I chose to put the story to the dark medieval times because I think that's a um, part in the history which a lot of changes happen and. Uh, and also when it comes to the idea of religion and stuff. I had the feeling that, well, it's becoming quite personal because symbolically it had um, a huge connection to how uh, when I was a kid, you know, I mean, I discovered the hypocrisy of religion at the uh, age of six. Kind of design myself, and here we get black on black, which is nice. No, it's not spy on tap, it's nice. Yes, very chuffed. Easy rich for professionals. Uh, the more and more I get to uh, read the lyrics now, the more and more it symbolizes me as a person.
låter som en smäck. Är det en gång gjorde han nästan som en skjuter var? Åh The box she goes. We have like mixed down all the tracks, like the drum tracks, the bass and guitar tracks, uh, the vocal tracks, and then I send it to Eivin in his little room in here when he's doing all in orchestration and stuff. So I'm sending all this stuff into him so he can sit and have like you know like his small separate studio, sitting and working to make all the, the keyboards and everything. So he get like six tracks that he can like if you want to listen only to the guitars he can take this up so now is the last one i'm going to send over to him it's like the vocals uh, since we decided not to use orchestra i have been working here for three weeks with uh, with media files been working 24 hours almost every day when everything is set up here with the media i had to convert it to audio and then send it to pro tools in the other room here he's closing in now so later on here i'm going to go into his computer and grab all the files with all the uh, orchestral stuff Scenery here is beautiful. You can walk like this way. You come to like waterfalls and big river. I walked the, the other day. Uh, a morning walk, stroll, stroll, morning stroll, and into the forest and shit. And there comes deer, and there was beer, and there was and, uh, wrestling. I have my axe and like my gladiator boots and shit. These are not the gladiators, but you need the gladiators to walk in the forest because it's yes, protection and shit. And yeah, with my spikes and stuff, because we usually wear our spikes, but not today, because you guys are filming. Mm. So you want to appear like normal. Wow! So did you, is this your ride? Yeah, it's my ride. Yo, yo. I pimped it a little bit with like, curver and shit. You got my nice little bell right here. Put you up to that one. And, uh, of course, protection for long hair and stuff, which is very metal. Uh, got my thing here and stuff. Yeah, it's a pimped up bike. It's pretty nice. Now it's back to hard work. The last couple of details are always done in the studio and that's in the studio is where the songs really come alive. You know?